that is what you need to understand now we are going to talk more about the community ecology when you talk about the community ecology you know community means we are looking at a bigger scale now so populations are there populations of species are there now multiple populations they are engaged in interaction and these interactions are competition predation parasitism all these kind of interaction they belong to a community and in that case we have community and in community we have species diversity and richness calculation very important to calculate the species richness and diversity we'll understand what diversity is we'll talk about the species diversity why understanding diversity is so important and we'll also see what is destroying the biodiversity and we'll also see how to prevent the biodiversity loss so the species diversity and richness is calculated by different diversity index one is known as shannon index the other one is simpson's index what is shannon index so basically diversity includes diversity index is a mathematical measure of species diversity in a given community right the index is a mathematical measure of species diversity in a given community based on the species richness what is richness this term remember species richness means the number of species present that is species richness and species abundance what is abundance the number of individuals per species so species abundance the number of individual per species and species richness the number of species present okay add them together we get the total diversity index so more the species you have more diverse that area more individuals belong to the same species are present more diverse that area however there are two types of index index of dominance and information statistics index two index two types information statistics index information based index the second one is dominance index so index of domination now the equations for the two index first index we'll see here the shannon index this is the shannon index known as capital h equals to sum of we can say pi and natural log of pi this is the value what shannon index stated it's an index of informational statistics so this informational statistical index is known as shannon index shannon index so this index encounters all species are all species number of individuals belonging to the species it accounts for everything okay and in this picture what you can see is that this p remember this p is what a proportion that is small n by capital n number of individuals of one particular species small n divided by the total number of individuals that are present capital n okay small n by capital n that is known as p so this p value is nothing but that okay natural log and summation is the sum of the calculation this is the number of species that are present there okay two things one is the total number of species and second is the individuals belong to the same species total individuals belong to the same species both of them account for the index in the richness okay richness and abundance both should be uh, added so both values are counted with the help of shannon index so when you say shannon index of an area this is the shannon index and this is a high value of shannon index means high diversifying area high diversity high value high diversity now that diversity means theoretical diversity of all the individuals that are present there it take account for all the individuals that are present so even if any one single new species you add or any new spe any existing species you subtract it is going to change the shannon index it is going to change the value of shannon index on the other hand there is another index remember i told you one is the information statistics index that was shannon index another one is the dominance index of dominance that is known as simpson index so simpson index is nothing but index of dominance 
Now again in this case what we can clearly see this is the equation of Simpson index. In this case the value is same 1 divided by the summation of again P square. This is the index. Now what this index stands for the it is capital it is known as capital D. Shannon was capital H. Simpson index is denoted with capital D for dominance and in this case a dominance index because it gives more weight to a common or dominant species. In this case a few rare species with only few representatives will not affect the diversity. So let's say there are total 12 species are present in a community. Among these 12 species let's say only 5 species are there who have considerable number of individuals per species. Okay. Let us say 100, 900, 300, 500, 600. Five. So, these 5 species have number of individuals. Rest 7 species, they all have individuals something like 1, like this. So, they are present in very low number compared to the 5 species here. So, these 5 species, they are more dominant species. So, if we consider them as a dominant species, we only focus and add the diversity that is added by this particular species which are dominant in nature because the whole community will behave more like a dominant species. So the behavior of the community depends on the dominant species. So that can be one species, two species, three species, the number of species, they can be dominant. The whole community's behavior depends on the dominant species. Their food habit depends on that. Their, their uh, environmental suitability depends on dominant species. Everything. So, Simpson index always deal with the dominant values. The dominant species that are living. So, the diversity we calculate here are the diversity for the dominant species and not for any rare species that are living there. Any rare species we don't count in the Simpson index. We count it in the Shannon index.